This video demonstration is going to cover device drivers. And device drivers are important. They're basically a software that tells the operating system how to communicate with hardware. I've got some things running in the background here where it's actually checking for available updates and it's at about 23% complete. So if that finishes in the time we do this video, then I'll share some more information with you. But basically the device drivers are things like uh, printers or sound or video or mice. I'll pull this up here where we can see it. It's any one of these number of things that we find in the device manager. And basically um, what the device driver does is it translates or it's basically a software that explains to a piece of hardware what it wants it to do. And these are all managed through the device manager and they're free from manufacturers. So if you need to upload a particular, uh, let's say scanner or a camera or a fax or things like that, you wanna make sure that you go to the correct manufacturer or the manufacturer it came from, make sure it's their website and don't allow download any drivers from uh, different websites that you don't trust. Drivers should always be free of, of charge. So if you're going to a website and you find out they're charging for a driver or something like that, uh, that's a little bit odd and I'd be uh, suspect. But anyway, these type of files come in uh, .sys files and those are loadable drivers. So what happens with the loadable drivers? They're really loaded as they're needed so they don't have to take up memory. And then you'll see some DDL files and some exe exec files and on linux you'll even see a dot ko file so underneath each one of these we've got several different menus i can look at my drives and there's there's a device that can be updated for each one of these so as i go under some of my firmware i'll just click a few of these so you can see it really tells uh what can what needs to be updated for each area or what's loaded on the computer or what you can search for a driver for so um, looking at some of my sound here, I'll give you an example. Let me go to this Realtek Audio. I'll double click it. Just tells you general information about the driver. Uh, more information like when it was actually developed or what version you're on. And then you can click for driver details. And it's pulling these up. Tells me all kinds of different information about where files are stored and applications like that and where they're used. So this would tell me all the commonly associated files with this particular uh, device driver. I can roll it back um, when we talk in our lecture about uh, disaster recovery and things like that. You might have a device that doesn't work all of a sudden, but it did historically work. So you might need to roll back that driver. Or you might want to be able to disable it or even com uh, completely take it off of a file or a computer so you can uninstall it. So I might not want to use it for a bit of time, so I'd disable it, or I might not want it on there at all, so I'd uninstall it. So I can click to update the driver, and you can either search on your computer or search on the internet. So I'm gonna search automatically for the updated software, and we'll see what comes up here. And this is commonly uh, how this is done on each one of these different devices. Um, obviously, you can set this up. This should basically run and be ready to go at all points in time, and you shouldn't have to download additional drivers but when you're working with certain clients uh, pieces of equipment or you're trying to make something new work or you're trying to make something old like a, a printer then you may need to download the drivers I mentioned in one of our videos about working with an older printer so I still want to be able to use that printer but it doesn't it's not really plug and play I don't plug it in my new computer with the old printer and have it just automatically pull it up and it's ready to go so I've actually had to download the drivers but you can see here Windows has determined that the best driver for this device is already installed that's good to know that's what I want that's what I want to happen there's so many different uh, system devices. I mean, if you look at everything that's on this computer uh, from start to finish, each one of these uh, has its own issues uh, that we can look at or try to upgrade or, or look at. There's different things here for, for uh, ports and plug and play software. So let me right click on one of these for you. I can update it. Once again, I can disable it or I can uninstall it. And I can scan for any kind of hardware changes and look at the basic properties of it. So when you're trying to do some kind of uh, triage or troubleshooting and you want to know kind of what bus things run off of or information about the devices, what resources uh, they take up as far as usage and any kind of events that have happened or occurred with it. This is really good information if you're trying to figure out whether a device loaded or not or you've actually got to do some kind of an update. So I can update this driver. I can have it search 
same, same thing. You could do each one of these individually and go and see if they needed to be updated or if what's on there is already ready to go. So right here you see Windows has already determined that the best driver is already loaded up for this uh, sixth and seventh generation Intel processor uh, family. And I've got a PCI Express route from port number five. And that's good to go. So here is basically where we look for the overall section of this. I'm showing you through the device man manager the individual files and folders where you can check and you can run and see what kind of updates are available. When we go through this setting here and I'm looking at the, just the common updates for the computer, it's going to pull all of the uh, known drivers in, into the system. So right now I'm at about 64% and we'll see what that looks like uh, if that plays out at the end here. I don't think we're going to have... Uh, too much more time in this video to see if it gets past 64%. But basically, I'll tell you what it is doing is it is uh, reaching out to the internet and looking for any specific device drivers that need to be updated through Windows 10. So um, that's a common thing that you do when you're updating your software uh, is make sure that you have all the updates clicked and it's available to update uh, any software for your customers' computers or, or your own. So it's important to keep those updated because you want your firmware and your software and all your device drivers to function properly. A lot of times what you're going to have to do is when you're working with older devices is you're going to have to find the specific drivers that you need to make that run. So in one of our troubleshooting videos, I'm going to take an older printer and I'll get you the newer device driver that's needed to actually make it run. So I appreciate you joining me on this video demonstration for device drivers.